Happy Valentine's Day from Recovery Unplugged, and welcome to the Newlywed Game. Today's contestants are Ryan and Ashley, Jason and Gabby, and Carl and Kathy. And here's the host of the Newlywed Game, Joseph Garamba! Hi, and welcome to everybody's favorite Valentine's Day game show, The Newlywed Game. I'm your host, Joseph Gorordo, and we are excited today to bring you another action-packed episode with three amazing couples. First up, we have Ryan and Ashley living in Austin, Texas, with a combined sobriety date of eight years. Congratulations, you two. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So... Tell me, Ashley, where did Ryan take you on your first date? Bolding Creek Cafe. Uh, are you vegan? Uh, no. Weird choice, Ryan. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, and they're going to be going away tomorrow to a fabulous trip in Colorado. So I hope you guys are excited. Thank you all for joining us today. Our next couple is Gabby and Jason, also residing in Austin, Texas, although they are decidedly more goth than Ryan and Ashley, with a combined sobriety of seven years. Welcome to the show, you guys. How are y'all doing today? Doing great. Looking pale. Gabby, tell us, what what is the worst gift Jason has ever given you in the course of y'all's relationship? My first birthday that we spent together he thought it would be because he's a skateboarder he thought it would be a cute idea to give me a set of trucks and used skateboard wheels <laughs> not even the complete skateboard just the wheels and the trucks and and you stayed with him i did i don't know why jason how did you make up for that did, was there a reckoning i'm assuming there was some sort of reckoning i'm i'm a really good cook I can make up for anything on a daily basis with a solid meal. Thank you again, Gabby and Jason, and welcome to the show. And last but not least, and personally my favorite of the couples, <laughs> we have Carl and Kathy joining us from beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. How you doing? Welcome to the show, you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, let's keep it PG. There's kids watching at home. If anybody's watching at home. So Carl and Kathy have been married for 33 years. Carl just celebrated 6,000 consecutive days in a row without taking a drink or a drug. So congrats on that. Carl, Carl and Kathy, y'all just moved to Nashville a couple years ago. Tell me, uh, what's your favorite date night spot in Nashville, Tennessee? Franklin. The Franklin Square. Well, welcome to the show. We're excited to have y'all. Just for everybody at home, and so we're all on the same page, let's go over the rules. We're gonna have two rounds, everybody. In the first round, the gentlemen are gonna leave the room and we're gonna ask their spouse three questions. When the gentlemen return to the room, we will see how many of them match and they will get one point for every matching question. After that, it's the ladies' turn. The ladies will leave the room and I will be asking the gentlemen three questions about their partners and we'll see how many of those match. Also good for one point. And at the end of these six questions, the team with the highest point total will win an Uber Eats gift card. In the event of a tie, we will give the card to the couple that has been together the longest. So let's get started, guys. For our first question, ladies, who is your partner's celebrity crush? Ashley, Scarlett Johansson. Very nice. Oh, Gabby, what'd you write down? Oh, Angel Olsen, I don't even know who that is. He's this terrible singer. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, what did you write down? Oh. Troy Aikman, right on. All right, so for our second question, ladies, we have, what is the one food your partner could eat for the rest of their life and not get sick of it. Ashley says, chicken piccata, there we go. Now let's go on over to Kathy. He gets sick of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've got manicotti lasagna. Manicotti lasagna. Gabby, what was your answer? 
Nachos. Now our third question, a little more serious. What is the best thing that recovery has done for your relationship? Aww. Can I say everything? Oh yeah, this okay. great. This okay. great. Communication. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Ladies, if you would invite your gentlemen back into the room. All right, welcome back, gentlemen. Now it's time to see how well you know your partner and see how many of your answers match what they said you would say. So, Ryan, let's start with you. Who is your celebrity crush? Man. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, who is it? Hold on. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Oh, good job, good job. One point. Um, and I neglected to introduce my lovely assistant, Ashley, who's just been creeping over there in the corner. She's gonna be keeping score for us today. Say hi to the nice people at home, Ashley. Hi. All right, Carl and Kathy. Carl, who did Kathy say your celebrity crushes? Seen Giada on Food Network. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. She said Troy Aikman. <laughs> Not off to a good start there, Carl. You're pretty confident. Jason, you're up next. Who did Gabby say is your celebrity crush? Angel Olsen. Ding, ding, ding. Gabby said Angel Olsen, although none of us know who that is. <laughs> All right, second question. Carl, we asked your spouse, what is one food your partner could eat for the rest of their life and not get sick of it? Manicotti. Nailed it. Good job. <laughs> Gabby and Jason. Jason, what did Gabby say is the one food that you could eat for the rest of your life and not get sick of it? Nachos. <laughs> two for two, Jason and Gabby. Good job, you guys. Ryan and Ashley. Ryan, what did Ashley say is the one food that you could eat every day for the rest of your life and never get sick of it? I want to say uh, <laughs> chicken piccata, but she probably chose protein <laughs> drinks. Oh, we uh, talked about, we talked about last and probably our most difficult question for the ladies. We'll start with Gabby and Jason this time. Jason, what did Gabby say is the best thing recovery has done for your relationship? Kept me calm. Aww. Gabby? I said communication. Mm, clearly it's working. <laughs> Ryan and Ashley. Ryan, what did Ashley say is the best thing recovery has done for your relationship? For our relationship? Yes. No, no, somebody else's relationship. Right. <laughs> just about like, it's just everything. Everything's good about it. Oh. Everything. <laughs> Carl, what do you think Kathy said is the best thing recovery has done for your relationship? I buy her more jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gabby, what did you say? Saved our marriage. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> now, I'm sure the jewelry contributed to the saving of the marriage, but that's not what most, is most important. All right, so Ashley, where do our couple stand at the end of round one? Carl and Kathy with one point. Jason and Gabby with two points. And Ryan and Ashley with three. Now it's time for the ladies to please step out of the room so that we can quiz the judges. All right, let's go. All right, gentlemen, now that the ladies have left the room and it's just us guys and Ashley, let's get to the real nitty gritty. What style choice do you think your partner would change about you if they could? Carl Bremer. It's, he want me to not wear shirts with the sleeves cut off. <laughs> I think that we could all agree with that. Yeah, I don't think she's the only one, Carl. 
Jason, what style choice would Gabby change about you if she could? So I don't think it's so much what I wear, but it's that I have. Who I need clothes. Ryan, what would Ashley change about your style if she could? No more black shirts. Oh. I, as a man who half my wardrobe is black t-shirts, personally take offense to that. Oh. Question number two. What song would you say that your partner thinks best embodies your relationship? And if you get it wrong. Here I go again on my own. It was good. All right, let's start with Carl this time. Carl, what song do you think Kathy would say embodies your relationship? Bill Collins, You'll Be In My Heart. From Tarzan? Yep. Oh my God, it's such a good song. <laughs> Actually, let's give them half a point just for going with a Disney song. <laughs> Jason. Question number two, what song do you think Gabby would say embodies your relationship best? She might say Shooting Star by Elliot Smith, but it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to go with Your Song by Elton John. Oh. Also hope. a prolific Disney songwriter. Brian Spencer, what song do you think Ashley will say embodies your relationship best? Willie Nelson, always. Oh, Ooh, sounds a little codependent. <laughs> True. <laughs> Last question. When do you think your ladies knew that you were the one? It's a tough one. Love at first sight. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> for a point for myself, I'm going to say it's when she saw your Elliot Smith tattoo. Oh, okay. So Jason said love at first sight. Ryan Spencer, when did Ashley know that you were the one for her? We were flirting on Facebook. Uh, yeah. we were flirting on Facebook. <laughs> yep. Last but not least, Carl Bremer, when did Kathy know that you were the one for her? Mother's Day, 1987. Oh, I was three years old. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, go ahead and call your ladies back into the hey! Sorry, Joseph. <laughs> ladies, welcome back. We asked your gentlemen three questions in increasing difficulty. For every one that you guys match, you'll get yourself a point. Let's start with Ryan and Ashley. Ashley, what do you think Ryan said? Is a style choice of his that you would change if you could? He always wears uh, the same t-shirt. Ashley? Is incorrect. Oh. Oh. Wearing black t-shirts specifically. Oh, come on. <laughs> Next up, Carl and Kathy. Kathy, what style choice of Carl's did he say that you would change if you could? Uh, his t-shirts with the arms cut off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they only have one. Yeah. Finally, Gabby, what style choice of Jason's did he say that you would change if you could? That's hard, because I, I like his style for the most part. Um, <laughs> Uh, Maybe fashion habit? Not as many outfit changes throughout a day. Oh. <laughs> How many times does Jason change outfits? <laughs> um, <clears throat> usually about three or four. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gabby, but that's incorrect. Jason said it would just be that he buys too many clothes. Yeah, yeah, the outfit changes. <laughs> no. No, that's different. Mm -hmm. Moving on to our second question, starting off with Carl and Kathy this time. Kathy, what did Carl say is the song that best embodies your relationship? Uh, You're My Best Friend by Queen. <laughs> oh. 
I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. Oh. I said, you'll be in my heart by Phil Collins. Uh, Gabby and Jason, same question. Gabby, what song do you think Jason said? I'm gonna say, Falling Rain. No. Just, just for the sake of whatever. What was the second one you were thinking of, Gabby? Happiness by Elliot Smith. Was that no different Elliot Is that Smith? Not song? Different Elliot Smith song. Uh, no, I, I'm not even gonna. Let's just say we got it wrong. What is it? <laughs> it's a your song by Elton John. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. Just, but uh, I've always wanted that song dedicated to me. But... <laughs> All right. Last but not least, Ashley. What song do you think Ryan said? Best embodies your relationship. Okay, I have an idea, but I want to open it with. Maybe I didn't love you. He said, you know, every time I hear Always on My Mind by Willie Nelson, I think of you. No, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan said Always on My Mind by Willie Nelson. I always thought that song was about uh, adopting pets. <laughs> All right, good job. Now, Ashley, before we go into the last question, could you remind us where the scores are? Where do our team stand? We have Gabby and Jason with two points. Carl and Kathy, two points. Two and a half. And then you got Ashley and Ryan in the lead with four points. Guess what, everybody? This last question is worth <laughs> 20 points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Starting off with Gabby this time, we asked Jason when he thought that you knew he was the one. Hopefully this is what he said. This is when we first were hanging out and he started um, talking about how he uh, wanted to go to school to like make movies and he was playing a playlist from the movie that he wanted to make. He just had like all of this like vision for his future about going back to school and doing things and he went back to school and became a videographer. So I think that moment was probably the moment. That is a beautiful story, but it was very wrong. Oh. Wrong, 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 wrong. What did you possibly say? When you first saw me. <laughs> it was love at first sight. For you. <laughs> All right. Ryan and Ashley, same question. We asked Ryan when he thought that you knew he was the one. I mean, I knew he was like before we met. Aww. Like we would, we would text, and he would tell me, um, "I'm gonna marry you." <laughs> so he said when you guys would message on Facebook. Yeah. Let, let's give him half credit. Ten points. Ten points. Ten points. <laughs> Kathy, we asked Carl, at what moment you knew that he was the one. Uh, so we took his grandma out um, for Mother's Day. Uh, we took her, her out for Mother's Day. Ooh, to the um, spaghetti warehouse. Is that the year we were married? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1987. Mother's Day, 1987. <laughs> Twenty points. No way. <laughs> when he told me that he loved me. She already answered. Uh, <laughs> Stop talking. That brings us to the end of our game. Ashley, would you please give us our team's final score? We have Gabby and Jason with two. Carl and Kathy with 22 and a half. So that means, Carl and Kathy, you too have won 
the newlywed game. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I'd like to thank all of our participants. And you know what? You guys have been such great sports. I love all you guys. It warms my heart to see such good love and kindness and interaction and to know that that is out there in this world when you could be watching Netflix. So I'm just giving everybody a $100 Uber Eats gift card. Congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, that's all the time we have today. I'm your host, Joseph Gordo, here reminding you that you can't love someone else until you learn to love yourself first. Valentine's Day. This has been a Recovery Unplugged production.